Hey, what's up, TikTok Nation? It's been a minute, hasn't it? Yeah, guys, what I want to say is I'm very, very sorry about the lack of uploads, and I just want you to know I am not sick anymore. I've actually not been sick for a while. I know, guys, I have been very much slacking, but I promise you guys I'm coming back in clutch. And um, another, and what I'm planning on doing for uh, videos... I mean, I am going to be still doing plush videos, but this is a different kind of video than what I normally would do. Because, you know, guys like me who only want to make videos when they feel like doing them. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you um, four plushies that I like. Well, take three plushies for Planets of Freddy's I like, like Funko and others. But, but yeah, what I'm going to be showing you four plushies I like and one plushie. Well, Tikiki 3 plushies I want that I don't have yet. And one plush in particular at the end that I am, that is a plush I want made. Like either Funko or Hex from Darko or anyone else to make these plushies, to make this plush because, I don't know, I just want to. Anyway, uh, the first plushies I want that I don't actually have yet are probably the easiest plushies to actually get my hands on. Are the twisted ones from Planet of Freddy's. Um, the twisted ones, obviously. Now, guys, I know a lot of people don't necessarily like these blushies all that much. Mostly Chica, because I can actually agree with Chica. I don't know what they were thinking, given her anime eyes, but whatever Funko wants, I guess. But, um, yeah, uh, yeah, these are actually... If you guys don't, you obviously don't know this, but these plushies are actually my favorite plushies out of the waves of Finance of Freddy's plush. Yeah, I know that's kind of an odd thing to say, because a lot, a lot of few people really don't like these plushies because they're, because they're kind of poor made, poorly made, especially a Chica. I mean, a lot of people do like the Freddy one in Foxy and... Okay, the body one's alright, in a few people's opinions. But yeah, um, yeah, these guys aren't, they're not bad, they're just, they just could be better, in, like, a lot of people's opinions, to be honest. And, yeah, yeah, okay, guys, I am serious, these guys are, like, my favorite waves out of the bunch of Planets of Freddy's plushies. Like, I know these guys are made by Funko, and they're not as up to code as some currently other made plushies that are fine at surprise are not made by Funko. Like, another one we'll get to in a minute, but yeah. yeah like, like I'm saying, guys, these guys are, like, my favorite. These guys are, like, my favorite way for fine at surprise, and it is very surprising that I don't own any of them. And I will get my hands on them soon at some point. I just don't know why. I just don't know when. Yeah. And another plush... That's actually not Funko or anyone else, but it's actually Hex. I would really like to get in the future the Hex puppet. Because you guys obviously know that Funko can be can have some poor choices in their plush designs, mostly. And I just want this plush in particular from Hex because the Prices can be kind of outrageous, for example. But yeah, um, yeah, guys, what I want, I want this guy because, or this girl, I'm pretty sure I'm coming to terms with Marionette being a girl. Yeah, guys, I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are saying he was a guy at one point, but I'm aware of the lore and stuff, so yeah. Yeah, but yeah, guys, I would really like to have the Marionette. I just think she looks good. Oh. I think she looks good. She looks pretty good in this form than the... And she is definitely miles better than the Funko one. Because, obviously, she is so much better than, than the Funko made one. Because she actually has limbs and the buttons are on point and the face is good. I don't... I'm on... Yeah, guys. Now that you look at it, she doesn't look like she can um be... um dismembered like the other funk like the other hex plushies 
Yeah, the other hex plushies are like, are like, um, toys, or like, not wait, toys, but like, plushies you can like, pull apart, like, you, you can like, mix and match their limbs and stuff like that, which is an honestly cool gimmick, in my opinion, to put to a plush, but, yeah, by the looks of it, she can, Marionette does not look like her limbs can be removed. But she, I have seen that she is in fact bendable, like her like, like her arms and legs can like, um, be bended, like there's wiring in it or something. There's also the present, which is neat, and she's also blacklighted, as you guys seen by my mistake of clicking on this image by accident. Yeah, she does have blacklight imaging, which I found pretty cool. And the baggy moon lights up, which is neat. Yeah, this is what she looks like all the way around, and the face looks, yeah, guys, the face looks really good. I really like the face. Oh, I just realized. Is the lipstick pink or red? I don't know if Funko did that wrong, because I, I don't know if the lipstick's supposed to be pink. I don't know. I, I'll have to look at it. I'll have to look at it, but, but yeah, guys, I honestly can agree that this... And I also really like this card it comes with. Like, it comes with these cool cards. And this one looks really cool, in my opinion. And now to move on to the other ones. Well, these are actually two plushies I want. That I'm probably never going to get my hands on. And you'll obviously probably know. That it is the two holy grails of Funko plushies. Of Finance of Freddy's in general. <sighs> Gordon Freddy and Shadow Freddy. The two holy grails of plushies. A plush the two holy grails of plushies of people of plushies that people want to get their hands on in the Finance of Freddy's plush community. Like these two are honestly holy grails. Mostly go mostly Shadow Freddy. I actually started off only wanting Shadow Freddy before I actually knew about the Shadow Freddy one. Cause I've seen this one YouTuber, um, Super Mario Muppets, that actually made me want to go in Freddy plush more, or it was actually before I knew about Shadow Freddy, but yeah, and guys, I actually forgot to mention this, I am, I would like, I would like say, like, back in the old days, I would like say, like, if I was a bit, yeah, like, younger, or I don't know, if I, if you guys could, like, leave links in the comment section of where I can get these guys for a cheap price, because I actually did do that at one point, it was a Luigi plush I wanted, because I was kind of, I'm not really desperate, but I've been wanting one for a while. And it led to a guy who was actually kind of creep, who's been weirdly leaving comments at my comic section that I, and I'm pretty sure he's left, left me alone because I haven't heard of him in a while. But, but yeah, um, yeah, guys, these, and guys, what I mean by that is a certain guy who was commenting on my videos. Like, when I did, like, in the Ouija one, which I'm pretty sure I took the video down. Like, when I did in the Ouija one of getting the Sinai Luigi plush I really wanted back then. And I honest in getting that Luigi one, the guy I'm talking about left comments of eBay listings of all of Luigi plushies that he could find that weren't even Sinai. They were just kind of bootlegs. And that's another thing with the... And that's another thing, guys, that I want to bring up, that these two are, that if you guys, like, see, like, these guys, like, if anyone wants to, like, see these two on, like, eBay or something, because that's mostly where you're going to be able to find them at this point, uh, right now, because they're super expensive on Amazon. Yeah, you guys are honestly having better luck finding these guys on, like, eBay or, like, Macari or something, which I don't know much about Macari, but, um, yeah. Yeah, guys, and... Yeah, guys, you are better in luck finding these on, like, on, like, you guys are, like, I know a lot of these, like, I know a lot of people would like these, not, um, like, fresh, like, fresh, but, to be honest, guys, you are always, the most of the time, like, guys, the clearly point you're gonna be able to get if you want these plushies is to get them used, is you have to get them used, because that's basically the only point, the only way you can actually get these guys now, because you can't really get them, fresh anymore, you can only get them used, which is honestly kind of okay with me if I was to ever get my hands on them, because, yeah, I guess, yeah, guys, I know, 
lots of people would like to get these guys vintage, like they want to get them like bagged or something. But honestly, guys, I wouldn't care less if these guys were slightly used. Like, I would like them to be like not not like used, like worn out, like completely used. Like the colors, like different, like they're like covered in mess and stuff. I would, I would like to get, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to get these guys like fresh, like and bad, cause they're, cause they're like, cause when they're like bagged and tagged, they are very more, more, they're very more, um, better like that. Like they are really valuable when they're, when they're tagged and bagged. I would not, yeah, guys, what I'm saying is I would very much prefer these guys being slightly used so I can actually use them in videos. Because you guys know I have an exception of ruining plushies that actually did have some rarity that I didn't really know they were rare at the time or gonna get rare. Because, yeah, like, I ruined the, the BB one and the... Like, I had a BB Balloon Boy plush that I ruined and the Happy Frog and the... And the Mr... Um, Hold on, guys. In the, like, um, in, like, the Mr. Hippo plush. Yeah, guys, those were all plushies I had that I ruined, sadly. And I can't get my hands on them again when I want them because they're very expensive. But I guess we all need to learn a lesson, but I don't know. But, um, yeah, but, guys, what I'm saying is I would prefer to get these guys used because they are... It is not better, but it is more, more, okay, I guess it is more better just to get them slightly used, like, not perfectly in you, not perfectly ruined or anything, but just slightly used, I guess, so they could, like, be good and just to look presentable on YouTube, just to look presentable in videos of I me, mean, like, using them in videos and such. Because that's honestly how I would want them, is to be a little bit, not, not like vintage, but like, I don't know. I don't know, guys, I'm just wanting them to be a bit, um, if I ever do get my hands on these, I would very much prefer them being slightly used. Anyway, back on topic, for the last one of a plush I actually want to be made by either Funko or, well, actually I would prefer them being made by Hex than Funko, honestly, but... The plush I'm talking about is Nightmare on. Is, is Nightmare is on or, um, or is Nightmare on or, um, Nightmare on or Nightmare Puppet, however you want to say it. But, yeah, guys, this is a, an E. Yeah, I guess this is not, not an actual plush you can get, like this one right here. This is not a plush. This is actually a custom made by someone on Etsy. Like, honestly, guys, since I actually do have my own money now, I can obviously buy him or her, but she is kind of expensive, and it looks like she's about to be out of stock, too. So, that's probably not an option right now, but, yeah, guys, I would like this plush to get, like, I would like, um, Nightmare Puppet to get a plush, because I don't, I just think she looks cool, and she's one of the creepiest-looking puppet animatronics, in my opinion, I don't know, but, yeah, guys, I would prefer her to become a plush because she's cool looking and like i said i would very much prefer hex or someone hex or something to make a plush of her because hex is very much better at making plushies than funko like like fun like i don't own any of the hex plushies yet because they're not they're not cheap which I guess is the only downside to getting hex plushies is because they're not ch is they're not cheap or anything like that. Like they're very hard to get their hands on. But yeah, guys, out of any plush I could want to be made uh, in Finance of Freddy's, well, I was also considering Gordon Freddy, not Gordon Freddy, Molten Freddy, to be my pick for this. But I don't know. I mean. I was considering, like, saying, like, Hex can make a Moan Freddy one, but I think the Hex ones are going in row of games of Finance Freddy's, and Molten Freddy doesn't really appear until FNAF 6, I believe, but yeah. But yeah, yeah, guys, that's what I want to say, and that's actually all the 
that's actually all the things I would like to say, guys. And again, guys, I am sorry for not being active on here a lot, but yeah. And I also saw Kung Fu Panda 4 VIP. Yeah, I'm not gonna spoil it, obviously. You can go on my TikTok to say that. Speaking of my TikTok, um, I actually did a video on there with my sister's gender war reveal. Yeah, you guys know how I said my sister's having a kid. We just did a gender reveal party yesterday, and she's having a boy. Yeah. Boy, I just spoiled it. Crap. Whatever, but, yeah. Yeah, that's all I really want to say, guys. I'm, I, like, again, I'm sorry for not posting much, but I will have some more stuff coming in the future. Like, probably during spring, because that's when I have spring break off from school. Yeah, that's the main... Yeah, besides me being sick for a while, that was actually... School is also the primary reason why I haven't been making too much content, and... Yeah. Bye.